Europe's car manufacturers have been hit by yet another roadblock. Following logistic backlogs caused by COVID-19 shutdowns and the scarcity of semiconductors, now they must navigate through the complications of rising energy prices and potential power cuts. The current energy crisis is hitting automotive hard. Because of the massive rise in energy costs, this is leading then to, to, to additional cost in manufacturing, production of energy intensive parts like steel and battery, cost is going up. At the end, sales prices are increasing, so consumers need to be more for their cars, which is further nurturing the inflation. This is the cycle we are currently in. According to S&P Global Mobility, Europe's energy crisis could cut the production of new cars by as much as 40 percent, prompting some manufacturers, such as Volkswagen, to consider moving car production away from Germany if these current issues persist. A study by the German Association for the Automotive Industry found that 95 percent of the companies surveyed say electricity prices, dictated by gas prices, are their biggest challenge. This does not bode well for the country's drive towards electric vehicles, especially when electricity prices have risen by an average of 460 percent in Germany since last year. If you do not have the substitution or the support by the, fund, uh, the federal government, and in addition, the electricity you need for driving the car is increasing its price also, uh, makes it less attractive to buy the new battery cars. This will also hit demand. There's less money in the market available because your heating and your electricity in your household is much more expensive. However, some analysts say that manufacturers have learnt their lesson from past crises and are now using these latest challenges as an opportunity. We see now a clear demand for energy command centers to, to see where comes the energy consumption from. Uh, we see interesting examples how to reduce energy costs by changing production patterns and so on. So flexibility has been learned over the last years and is definitely needed right now. And that flexibility is being seen in how future energy demands will be met. For instance, BMW. In 2021, the German car manufacturer relied on natural gas for 54% of its energy consumption. But now, the car company is exploring new investments into solar, geothermal and hydrogen energies. But while many of Germany's top car makers say their energy supplies are secure, for now, they can't say the same for their supplier networks. In a written statement to CGTN, German automotive maker Audi said that the Volkswagen Group and Audi have prepared intensively and as best as possible for a possible gas energy shortage. However, even if the group does its homework, the supply chains remain very tense and the political framework volatile. Berlin has announced a 195 billion US dollar energy relief package for industries and households but some automotive developers are calling for detailed plans to protect the industry directly from gas shortages. And with the automotive industry contributing around 2% to Germany's gross domestic product, many are backing this call. Natalie Carney, CGTN, in Munich.